Yeah, welcome to my personal hell. Well, actually, it's not. I'm alright. It's stressful, but people, this is what people try to do to stress me out. I'm being denied health care, medical treatment. Um, then it's like, okay, I'm trying to go somewhere else because you keep pushing me around from one place to another. So, when I, I they won't basically refer me, like I'm on the phone waiting. I should have documented all this crap a long time ago, but I'm telling you right now, something is really wrong with people. You know the stupid shit? This is, this is me waiting. Because you wouldn't believe it if I just told you what you hear for yourself. But, you know, you probably won't. Believe me or don't, I have no reason to lie. Hello. You know, the stupid song is changing. See, this is the thing. I had this call this one with this lady, and I was like, you know, I just want to know if the nurse is going to refer me or not. And she's like, well, um, it would be a 24 or 48 hours. I'm like, you know what? Thank you. You gave me information. Okay, I won't bother you guys for another 24 to 48 hours. Guess who calls me two seconds later? This is stupid bitch. That's it all. Like, oh, friendly. I thought she was going to say, no, just to waste my time. Just give me the highs and lows. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for holding. So, is, I guess my question would be, because if you're being seen by a new provider, um, a referral is not needed? It no, ma'am. you were going to, like, a maternal fetal medicine or something, and then we would refer you for a specific reason. No, but, but ma'am, ma no, 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 no. This is what I was specifically told with Children's Hospital. They told me that I would need to be referred by my OBGYN, which is you guys currently. Correct. So can you please yes, refer to, me? You 30, yes, you have 30 days from the, from the date of the dismissal letter. Yes. Um, which is time for you to find a new provider. No, ma'am, the whole point is right now, currently, because even though you don't like me for whatever reason, even though whatever, I'm stressed out and I've been stressed out, from Mercy Care to over to Trinity, which you guys are connected with, but whatever, it's besides the point. I'm I'm not here to give problems. I've been given problems. I can't get paperwork. I can't get medical records. It's a whole huge hassle. I can't use the My Chart app or whatever because I cannot download the app. Okay? I don't do business and cards online. So that's one thing, and then my phone is old. I don't, I'm not a rich woman, and I'm sure you're not either, but all these things that you consider normal are whatever. But the whole point is that I am here. It's not about my personal life. It's about me just getting the, you know, being provided with health care, like, as I'm supposed to be given. You cannot kill me, okay? I don't know if that's your ob objection here. I don't know. Obviously, you're trying to not provide me with medical care. But your job is to refer me over to Children's Hospital. They need a referral. You are my provider right now. So can you please refer me? Because you're supposed to do this. It's Children's Hospital that's requiring a referral? Or is it yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. I am not trying to be rude. They want, they told me specifically that I would need a referral for, from you guys. Do you understand? No, I understand. So, um, if you need, if you had any emergency, just so you know, just because, you know, I'm a nurse and I want you to receive the best care, but. I don't know you that you do. I don't feel you like you do. And I'm not trying to be rude, but again. You, you've given me so much fight back and push back about everything. I'm not here making problems. I'm just trying to get 
prenatal care as anybody is supposed to, as a, a you know, a mother that cares yeah. about their child. No, I understand that. So the, the medical release form we sent you in the mail, so you shouldn't have to do the... I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. You're supposed to do this. This is what I was instructed that you guys are supposed to do this. The referral. I can't refer myself because I'm not a doctor. I'm smart, yes. I'm talented, yes, but I am not I am not talented in that way. I am not educated. It, I, this is not something I should have to go through, yet and, as, as well I'm not supposed to be stressed out like this. Why can't you just send the referral over to children? I don't understand what the problem is. So we need you to sign that you are consenting to us sending anything over to children. You okay, so how about... You don't have to fill out anything. You just have to sign it for us and either bring it back or mail it back. Um, but we need that record release in order for us to send anything. That's just. So why wouldn't you just say that in the first place? Than a referral. So once we have that record release, then you know we then we could send over anything that children's would need, like any any of the care that you. I, you don't have, have a care. record release already. I'm pretty sure I signed one already. It has to be specific to um, it has to be specific to the place that it's going. So it would need to say you know we we would just need a, a new one, but we would need your signature saying that we can you know legally send over your documents. Otherwise. You know, that's, that's a very big HIPAA violation. We don't want your information going anywhere that it shouldn't. But again, why couldn't that all just be explained right away and, like, okay. oh, yeah, my so God. I'm explaining it now. Um, so that's what we would need is your signature on the referral or on the record release. I'm sorry, I misspoke. On the record release form that we had mailed you. So hold on a minute. You, you're gonna tell me you you signed. What are you saying? Like, so we, in the mail, you should have a, a letter from us that says a records release. It'll say right on the top of it, records release form, and we need your signature on that in order for us to send anything over to children. And you can just bring that directly into our office. So it, it we mailed it out to you. Um, I think last week. Um, it was, yeah, with the dismissal letter. So as soon as we get that record release form, then we can send children whatever they may need. Okay? No, it's really not okay. Um. Well, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I understand that you're upset, but this is legally what we have to and do. Legally, and legally for me to do all that and to have it make any sense because... See, I'm not driving right now because, see, I owe the DMV old fees that I couldn't pay when I was off road. I didn't go and pay that. So, and I know it's well, not you your can problem. You can email it or you can mail it back. We just, we just need a copy of it. So if you can email it or mail it back, either way is fine. We just need that signature for you. However you can get it done. It's just so much of this for what? For me to be, for me to be denied health care? There's so much of this. Why? It's just crazy. No, you are. Because why am I doing this? I shouldn't be having to start over. Like, see how I'm, I'm not trying to be intentionally be rude, but what the hell is going on here? This is really crazy. Like, I was, I, all I said it to this lady is like, I didn't want the my chart. I couldn't do the my chart because I don't have the app. And then because of that, I'm being denied health care? Again, um, we did not work, I'm not denying you health care. It's just you need to find health care at a different facility. No, I'm so being denied care. because I spoke up when somebody wanted to me to, to do my chart when I was already traumatized with mercy and I didn't want to deal with I already tried to get my chart or do all that and it didn't work out for me. I don't have the app and I can't. I can't buy stuff on my phone if I don't use credit cards on my phone. Kelsey, you Kelsey this it really doesn't have anything to do with my chart. We understand that you did it. No, right that's why I'm Kelsey. being denied. That's why I'm being kicked out of your facility. This is Kelsey, all on the Kelsey. phone. Kelsey, you have to allow me to speak for a second. This is what happened last time, and this is why we got disconnected from the call. 
You just have to listen for one minute, okay? Yeah. The, re the reason you got dismissed from the practice was your verbal language to our nurse. It happened twice. Once before you were even a patient here. You were upset with Mercy, and you called our office and took it out on our nurse. No, I did not. That's a lie. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. That's a lie. I'm not going to let you lie like that. I'm just not going to allow that. I was right there along with two no, women. nobody is doing anything to you. If I'm upset because I'm pregnant and I'm being treated like crap, then that's so be it. That's what it is. How could you not give a shit? You don't care. You're, you're making things worse, and you know that. They are paying you to do that, are they not? I mean, this is the only way I can look at this. What the hell? No, I was, I never did anything. If that was the case, then why would you have me come in? You're full of shit and you know it. It doesn't make sense. What I'm saying makes sense. The facts are there. But what you're saying is a bunch of crap. You want to deny me medical care. You want to put me through the ringer and make, and try to mess with my mentality. But there's nothing wrong with my mentality. There's a lot wrong with yours and your company, your associates, people that want to do wrong things like this and, and hurt a woman when they're pregnant. And that's very risky, and that's terrible. Like, I don't understand what it, why. Chelsea, that is absolutely not the case. No, that absolutely is the case. That is the case. I have no reason okay. to lie. You're lying on me. Well, listen, well, listen, we're not getting anywhere at this point, so this conversation just needs to be over with. If you could please fill out the record release and mail it back to us, we would be happy to get your record sent over to children, so that's where you're I really to don't want to deal with you guys very long term. I want this to be over with. So if I can if I can arrange to come in and just have you guys sign or sign it, give it to you guys or whatever. I don't know. I just this is so stupid because I asked you, I ask and I ask, what do I need to do? Or I'm trying to figure this out. Like I said, I was told to have the referral. You don't even know anything about the referral. You act so clueless. And then finally, oh yeah, you gotta come in and oh you gotta sign it and bring it in and. Yeah, but you didn't tell me that. I'm not a doctor. I don't work for a doctor. I'm not in a medical unit. Chelsea, Chelsea, it says right in the dismissal letter that if you're going to be, because you'll be changing OBGYN doctors, so please fill that record release out and let us know where you're switching to so that you, they can continue your... Really? Really does it say that? So why couldn't you just say that on the phone? Because again, I am not... I do not work for doctors. I don't get paid by doctors. I am only there as a patient. If it wasn't for me as a patient, all these patients, you wouldn't have a damn job, now would you? Correct. We would not. Okay, okay, just checking, just just checking, because I thought that I was there for prenatal care, not for you to give me hell or your, your coworkers. Nobody, you know, that's not my objective to, I don't want to make problems for you. Why would I want to do that? I just want to I not be denied medical that's care. That's what we were trying to figure out after the first phone call, but when it happened again the second time. No, it, this it, is, it, no, it, it, you're it, full it, of it, shit. It, if that was the case, you would not have Chelsea, seen me in the first right, place. So, no, you are. Okay, Chelsea, I'm going to hang this phone call up. Okay? okay, well, you're being recorded, so, yeah. <laughs> you can't say I didn't tell her that she's being recorded. So... It's very sad. You see, I don't let this shit consume my life. Since this shit started May 12th, I knew something wasn't right. So I just, I went to uh, Mercy Hospital. I, I thought I might as well, I should get a pregnancy test. I didn't think, like, it w I knew there might be a small possibility but it would be a very strange possibility because with somebody once and anyways I don't really want to talk about all of this right now I just this is only really about the medical or lack thereof I'm just I'm not stupid I see what's going on that's all and I wanted to document this so that the truth could be told people are discussing and I don't know who the hell is calling me on Facebook Some, somebody I don't even know people just want to be entertained they're 
It's just really sad. Here I am, supposed to just be happy, I'm having a baby, regardless of, of the situation with the father or whatever. I'm happy about this, okay? I'll be, I'll be having a baby before I'm 40. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Do I want to be with the father? No, hell no. And that's my business, and we're not going to discuss all of that. But the whole point is that I'm doing this right here. This documentation is because I'm being treated like garbage. So when I found out I was pregnant, I went back... It was a Friday. I went back on the Monday to get, I had to leave before I was handed the paperwork. I was just trying to get my medical records. Now, I don't know. Everything keeps getting updated and changed. You know, I've seen the difference from when I had my first child, who is 17 now, to, you know, now this one. Because I, I have several kids. I've seen the progression of technology making medical everything good you know actual medical treatment but now the actual everything else garbage anyways i'm just i'm documenting this because i'm tired and i want the truth to be told i know i'm not going to put you on time anyways i just i want it to you to hear you see how i'm being treated there's a lot worse that you could have seen or hear with people on the phone or in person. But it's just the simplest thing. It's such a nightmare. I am not a doctor. I am not a nurse. I don't work with I can't stress that enough. So when I went to go get the paperwork that Monday afterwards, I was put through the ringer. I was going back and forth from... The one place to the other, um, the Marion building, which is attached with Mercy, they were, like, really terrible, just like how that lady on the phone was, just not, like, they was worse than that. And so I was trying to, going back and forth from the emergency department, which is where I had went originally and got the, the um, pregnancy test and everything, um, at the time they gave me. Um, the IV and potassium and stuff, which, you know, that obviously if you need bananas and be healthier, but at the time I couldn't eat, so I didn't know why. But I, you know, because with my twins, I had a really not a great appetite, so I had a feeling it could be that, but at the same time, it was not something I was expecting exactly. But you see, I've accepted it and I'm, I'm good about it. I'm just trying to do all the right things. But like I said, been treated like crap and I'm not even trying to like pick on my family or or friends but some people just you know oh they didn't know the situation but I'm not lashing out on people I'm a really nice person honestly I can't tolerate stupid shit all the time it's, it's the more intelligent you get in life it gets hard to just accept when you go out of your way a lot for others whether it's just trying you can help people in so many ways it's not about giving money and sh stuff like that all the time it's you can just help guide people and if you're in any kind of customer service, then you should. But these people make me feel like I'm just trash. Feel like something is wrong with me. What's wrong with me? I'm emotional because I'm pregnant and you're picking on me, basically. Anyways, if everybody can think this is a joke, but this is what's happening with the medical world. And it's really disgusting. It's like push, push, push. No, you can't be around, but no, you have to come around. It's, leave me the fuck alone. If I'm a problem, then leave me be. Let me go on about my business. You know what? At this point, I don't know. I'm probably just going to see what I can do and go to ECMC because I'm just, I'm done.
هم داد هم This is not a side of me you see on YouTube, obviously. But you know what, people, you should know what is going on. And fuck you, all you haters. Because all I did is show you love. Even if I'm ever a bitch. Then ask yourself, why? Always so judgmental. Always this, always that. And, and all I'm trying to do is do all the right things. And I try to look out for everybody. But apparently that's not enough. But I have to live my life and be happy for me. Do what's right for, for God, for Jesus. People forgot about God so much. And it doesn't have to be about religion. It can just be about be a good person. Don't be a piece of crap. People can look at me and think what they want. But there is a lot of lies told and defamation on my name and my character. And I've still gotten as far as I have. But to get far in life these days, you're not really necessarily going to get paid for it, but, or not right away, or you just, whatever, don't, don't play yourself, that's how I see it, and if you know, then you know. Well, that's it then for now, because, um, I'm done with these people. I'm not going to waste my time anymore, I don't want to look at these stupid bitches. Demonic ass bitches. Yeah, I'm cussing now. Was that? Did I talk to these people like this? No, not at all. I'm not saying I never, you know, had a cuss or like ever in my life or was never like that. But I'm 39 years old and I've come a long way. Even with my music, I don't really cuss that much most of the time. Sometimes there's a time and a place with that. And the more irritated it does help sometimes with music to cuss, but I'm not making vulgar, disgusting songs that sometimes they'll be funny, but <laughs> anyways, I'm not here to be judged. And if you hate me, then oh wow, I don't care because I didn't do anything for you to hate me. And you don't know me if you hate me. You think you hate You think you know me, but you don't even know yourself. I know myself. I know I try. I know I have all this stupid crap in the way. So, oh, get in the way of me doing well? No. No, I'm still going to do well. I'm still doing well as we speak. I'm very rational here now, aren't I? You see all this. I'm not losing my mind over. I'm just made a decision, a good decision. Okay, it's gonna be all right. I'm, no, I'm done with. I'm not gonna deal with places that. See, look now. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hey, Chelsea. This is Carly. The nurse calling you back from Trinity OBGYN. So I spoke directly to the provider, and she is referring you to um, because for Children's Hospital. Um, they don't have their own, like, clinic, so it would be for, like, emergency purposes only or if you were considered high risk, which we're not. Wait, wait, you're telling me they don't, they don't have, yeah, so they don't have prenatal, but it's children's hospital, you would think they did. They used to, because I went there, I went there for two of my pregnancies, my son and my daughter. So I w so you're telling me if I if I would have had you do all that it would have been for nothing. Correct. Wow. So See how it just it takes so just take the time out to now. give people information would help a lot. Wow. So this is what which, you know we're doing all of this backward because we don't you know I don't work for Clyde I work for Catholic Health so I can only give you know recommendations for Catholic Health. However, um, 
This is the referral that our provider is giving you, which is to the Niagara Street OBGYN. I don't know what the Niagara Street, is that what it's called? Yep, that's the name of it. So just like this is Trinity OBGYN, this is Niagara Street OBGYN. They're a doctor. They will be able to give you prenatal care. I can give you their address and phone number, and then all you have to do is call and make an appointment. We will, they will, they could have you sign the records release there as well when you go for your appointment. So I, are you telling me I don't have to come into your, your stinking ass office? Sorry, my language, but after all of this, I mean, that's that's pretty well, you nice. Could, you could, so that they could, if, if you could get us the records released, then we could send it over to them before you even get to your appointment so that there would be no delay in care. If not, then the first appointment, they probably wouldn't be able to do much because they need those records beforehand, um, it, or it's easier to do it beforehand. So if you could get it to us beforehand, that's easy. You know, it's easier and, and more beneficial for you, to be honest, because then they would have your records. Um, however, if not, then when you go there, they will just have you sign it there. I don't want to go back to your office. Okay, so then you can have them sign it there. It, so I, I would rather back. have the inconvenience of going there and quote-unquote wasting my time one day than waste my time and ever have to see any of you guys again. You know what? Tell Dr. Veronica I don't know what happened. She was great in the past as um for three of my children were brought in the world thanks to her yeah. healthy and i appreciate her for that i don't know what she thinks about me personally okay. and i really don't care i just that was it and that's okay. all thanks for that i guess and um hopefully everything will go um right but if anything goes wrong that's on her and it's on you guys do you, do you want the address and the phone number for niagara street ob2 chelsea yeah hold on i'm just getting my pen okay. out so i can okay. um document yeah. that and um, I don't know if you heard me before, but you were being recorded and you're still being recorded because I was still recording when you called me back. Just so you know, so there's no okay, confusion. Well, I don't give consent. Well, I don't really give a shit because you know what? I don't care. Okay, you didn't care about what I'm going through. I do through. not give my consent to the Oh, well. Oh, well. I don't have any money for you to sue me. I have no money. I'm so broke. I have no money to give you, honey. I know you want you money, want and that's what this is all promoted and motivated by. Do you want the information for Niagara? Yes, I yes, I was just being, I was just letting you know that you are being recorded because this is what I'm going through, and it has to be seen. I should have been okay, documenting this a long time ago, okay? Like I said, I do not give consent. Well, I you know you what? I, like, again, and I don't give care. Me information. Give I me the information. I'm, I'm only letting you know this because I'm just being honest and letting you know, but this wouldn't happen, none of this would have happened if I wasn't treated like a piece of garbage. I'm a pregnant woman who deserves the proper prenatal care. I've done nothing wrong to anybody. I just wanted the information and things I need, the documents. It's such a huge hassle to get it. Give me the name for the damn Niagara, what's the address? Niagara Street, and what's it called? Niagara Street. Niagara OB what? Prenatal or whatever? OBGYN? Nope. Uh huh. Okay. That's and then. 564 Niagara Street. 564? Correct. Niagara Street. And Buffalo, New York. Mm hmm. Area code 14201. I'm glad you find this funny because I can hear the, the laughing tone in your voice. You have to. This is not going to help your soul. I, have I hope you understand phone. that. I have the phone number for you, Chelsea. It's 716-768-7700. And if you do need any medical attention, you can go to any emergency room or any urgent care. No, really? I didn't know that. See, that, see now that information I already know. All that other crap? that you just put me through that was just documented and that's why it was documented because I'm being tortured for no reason so I wanted to okay, document okay. that I it's not defamation of character it's true now you guys on the other hand people are trying to defame me but there's nothing wrong with me personally once I'm I'm a pregnant woman Niagara being street, denied prenatal we care your, once we go to Niagara Street we will, we will get inside and you sign the release for your records to be released to them then we will send over the records um, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. No, you don't, bye -bye. but bye. Anyways, there you have it, folks. 
<sighs> and if anybody wants to know who I was on the phone with, it's called Trinity Women's Health. And like I said, before that, I was at Mercy, got the pregnancy test. I had to leave. It was at night, and I had to take the bus, so I wasn't provided the paperwork. They had a shift change, and it was going to be a whole, you know, issue waiting. I wanted to get home to my kids and everything else. Um, so I had to take the bus, and I couldn't leave with my paperwork. So anyways, um... I went back that Monday trying to get the paperwork. A whole huge hassle. You you kind of get the gist of things. You hear how this lady was. It was very similar, but even worse because it's in person. And they were like, they just like were trying to trap me with like security. Like I wasn't even bothering anybody. And this lady told me to sit down and wait, and they were gonna get the paperwork. Like, I wasn't high-strung and by any means. Same thing with what she's referring to. Like, on the phone, I just, that was it. I was just, no, I don't want to deal with my chart, which is a thing. It's an app, and I can't get the my chart on my crappy phone, and that's it. So, anyways... I'm not trying to be difficult. It's just people are pure lazy or just something is wrong with them. I mean, I have to say it. it like, without God, you could be subject to demonic possession. <laughs> it's not funny. It's sad. It's really sad. But that's my beliefs. But all I can say is what you see is what you see. I'm not the problem here. Again, I'm a woman, pregnant, trying to do the right thing, make everything go through, put everything through, make the ducks in, have the ducks in a row. That's it. No, I didn't tell everybody. My people know I'm pregnant, but I, honestly, I, like, I didn't want to just have everybody in my business because people are just so... You see how people are. My family knows... Some of my friends know. Some friends act weird and, and I can't deal with them. But whatever. I can't take care of everybody. I can take care of me and my kids. That's my family. I'm getting along fine with my parents now, which is good. We're on the same page. My, you know, I have a, a psychiatrist. I have a counselor. Everything is fine with that. But do I trust everybody? You know, if it wasn't for stuff like this, then I would, everything was fine, and I felt trustworthy, like, I felt like I could trust them, but, it's like, why do you keep pushing medicine on me when you know I have been good for a whole year, and then, oh, because I'm pregnant, you want to get me to take meds when it could be harmful for a baby. I've been totally fine, stable. I've been doing very well. The, the stuff in my past is never all that crazy as you want it to look. It's glamorized bullshit and that's it. People are racist too. People are sexist. That's all I'm going to say because this is something I feel I've had to deal with. But anyways, um... So let's just see. I might as well keep you on and um, let's just see what happens because I don't know. Like, I feel like I need to protect myself. You want to go to the store and get water? No. Okay, well then you can wait a second. I'm sorry. I apologize. Notice how they keep talking about emergency. Yeah, because there's, you know, how much money you get, they get in the emergency room.
believe me, I'm not stupid. If I have to go, I would, but... I mean, I did that once already, now didn't I? Yeah, this is ringing, well... I don't have to, I could just go to ECMC like I was talking about. I don't have to deal with these people. ECMC, I think, will assist me. Thank you for calling Niagara Street OBGYN Clinic. If this is a medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. If you would like to speak to a triage nurse, please call back and select option 2. If you are calling to schedule, confirm, or change an appointment, please leave a detailed message with your full name, date of birth, and phone number, and one of our staff members will return your call at their earliest command. No. I'm not going to do this. I'm, I'm just going to go to UCMC. It's just that when I called before, I couldn't get somebody on the phone. Um, yeah, it's I will figure it out, but I have to do what's right for me and what's easier for me and what works for me. Right now, I just feel so much. I just feel a lot of hate for people. Was there something wrong with me for that feeling that way when when I can clearly see like? If I don't know you and you just don't care though that I'm just trying to get prenatal care, what the hell? I've already had um, like two sonograms though, so I had one in the beginning and then I had one again. But anyways, I'm just, I've had enough. I've had enough, so yeah, I just... <sighs> Nothing bad is happening to me. If it's happening to you, then that's on you. I'm always fully aware. I'm totally and utterly fully aware that I'm only just trying to get prenatal care and I've been doing that. I was honest with people about my past and I'm whatever. What am I supposed to just lie about everything? Like my past isn't me doing all these bad things. It's about people putting me through some things and I can't explain it. It sounds like I'm just saying, oh, oh, pointing the finger at others, but honestly, when people think you're this or they're that, they're gonna, you know, oh, they feel like they can just try to torture you, apparently. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not a dumb person. I have intelligence, and you know what? You get intelligence, you obtain knowledge, and you grow and you grow and you get smarter by seeking more and not being an evil bad person can get you very far in life that's all i can say i might not be real wealthy but i'm rich with a lot of other things talent and otherwise people gravitate to me because of that i'm not asking for attention i i want the only attention i'm looking for is what prenatal care that's that's what I'm looking for right now I do make music and I make my videos but it's just a shame that I had to make this video to protect myself and my image I came out on Facebook and explained talked about my past a little bit before and I don't care, you know, laugh it up or whatever, but you're laughing at yourself if you're laughing at me, because that means you're inviting this kind of 
terrible like torture to exist in your own life to tor have yourself tortured don't go around torturing others I'm just not going to let you treat me like crap and get away with it, but do I... I let God handle the shit for me as far as when people do bad things. I let him handle that. I have faith in God. That makes me different than some. We all need to take it to the next level. At this point, I always vouch for good people and stand up that's what God wants you to do because if you see they want to interfere with my life and upset me and this is my way of like letting it out this is what I do I make music and I let it out but recently there's other things that happen that is like in the getting like I won't let nothing get in the way but it's just gross um, I don't even really want to speak on it because it's just gross. Anyway, <laughs> I spoke to my um, psychiatrist about it, and I'll see my counselor soon and talk with her as well. And then, oh, they're great. It's, like I said, I'm not stupid, though. There's always ulterior motives in this medical field these days. It's, it's about money, and sadly, I'm not... I don't make this crap up. I'm not an actor. Not in any way. Not by any means. Just a pregnant woman wanting medical treatment like I'm supposed to have. So now I can't go to my appointment tomorrow because these people just want to fight with me and make problems. I could have went tomorrow, but why would I want to go when they're so, like, that would have been, like, the last time, and it's just so much. Like, you have to look yourself in the mirror and what you're doing. I don't have to live with regret. Because anytime I'm a little bit nasty or a jerk, it's because somebody's really just being a jerk to me and it's that person not somebody else i'm not here taking it out on people if i'm upset and i'll let you know i'm upset because of this or that but you know it's people need to be more understanding and but yeah i i'm just done I'm, i got this figured out i'll get it together i'm just you just, you know, like, my eyes have been open. It's just really sad, that's all. It's really sad. You take this as real evidence that there's nothing wrong with me. And you know what? I wouldn't be crying if I was pregnant, but that's because that's the whole thing. I wouldn't be having to go through this in the first place. I wouldn't be needing this particular health treatment care. I would just have my regular stuff that I, whatever, you know. Anyways, well, this is how you get to find out about me that I'm pregnant. Surprise! Congratulations. I'm sorry to all of my real friends and people that do care, that actually care and haven't been giving me any fucking hell. I don't feel bad for all y'all that feel guilty right now. Mm -mm. It's like even my parents, I know they are the way they are for a reason. It's not that they're so terrible, because they're not. There's only so much they can do to help me in this situation. I don't blame them for, like, my past, but there's some things I, I feel a little bit, I could blame them a little bit for, but whatever. I'm not here to 
bash them and I'm not here to hold grudges. I'm not a very grudge holding person. I'm really not. Anyways, I'm done with this entertainment. Like I said, you better worry about your soul. You better worry about finding Jesus. If not, then what? It's your problem, not mine. I can't, it's like in one of my songs, I can't save your soul or I can't fix your soul. That's what I said. Anyways, um... I'll come back, I'll update. This will be fun. This will be... I'm still... See, that's the thing. You'll see. I'm still the same person. I have my fun. I make my videos. I have a good time. Yesterday, I was given the information. I had got the letter that I wasn't going to continue my um, services with uh, Trinity Health, Women's Health, or whatever. But yet, did I let that stop me? My friend been waiting so that we could do make some music videos. She was